what I got here is a toothpick, a little trusty toothpick. You got the same old glue you had before, this uh, medium super glue. I poured a little bit into this uh, bottle cap here. And what I'm going to do is just spread this around on the uh, armature windings. Uh, so to make sure that all the windings are held down. Right now they're, they go on kind of loose and they come out kind of loose. And if you just ran the arm like this, chances are those wires are going to come loose, change balance. Who knows, it could come off so far that they run into the magnet or something. So I'm getting underneath here. The first first thing is try to get underneath um, with a sharpened toothpick and uh, get under there and get in some glue underneath that com, or between the com and the windings here. Getting under there as best I can, get in there. Take your time. And don't be shy with the glue. It soaks right into the windings. So it's not like a a major problem. Just don't get it all over the com. <laughs> and then you got to sand that off. So you don't want to do that. But you can get it in there nice and thick and cover all the wires. And then the next step. So you got underneath there all six of those on six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six all around. And then I'm going to do here and slather that on pretty good on the side of each pole. Try not to glue your fingers to the arm. That's kind of a bummer when you do that. And then last but not least, you put a bead right along the top. So you're just going to start at the back and just lay a bead right down the top of that arm. Make sure that you got all the wires, especially the one on the end there. Next pull. Have to cover the whole thing, just make sure you get a bead down there. Get all the wires on top and they're kind of glued down. Alright, there you go. Set it. Now you're all set. Just let it sit. That glue will soak in pretty quick and be ready to mess around within an hour or so. Don't rush this. I wouldn't use any accelerator on this to try to get this to go faster. What you might find out is that it ends up acting kind of weird and vaporizing and you get this white crud all over the con or all over the arm and it looks bad. It'd run fine, but it just look bad. So I usually just let them just let it harden as it sits. And uh, like I said, about an hour, and then you're ready to go to the next step. Okay, it's a minor step here, but um, after gluing the wires on, you'll want to make sure that uh, everything's tight. So, you know, after the glue's dried, give it an hour or two or whatever, or overnight, like I just did. Uh, come back with your toothpick and just sort of scrape along here and look for any wires moving. Come along, you know, just take your time, go around and look at all, all the stuff. You don't want any loose wires. Loose wires means it's going to go out of balance or who knows what. So you kind of look in here. Look down in there, make sure nothing's moving around. Anything moving around? Well, you know what to do. Just get a little more glue and glue that loose wire down. Anyway, this one looks good. So uh, that's kind of what you're doing. Um, and then we're ready to move on to the next step.